very much. Well, I thought I'd start with this photograph of the sun rising on what turned out to be such a significant day. And as expected, we've had this cold front pushing down from the north. Now, it dragged its heels a bit, and tonight, later on, it's going to stall for a while. So some of us will see things drying out with just a few showers following in behind, and perhaps even the cloud breaking to allow some clear spells. But parts of Suffolk and Essex at the moment, here we're more likely to see some thicker cloud and some rain lasting right the way through until morning. Temperatures, well where we get breaks in the cloud, could drop close to freezing and with light winds we could also get a frost as well. And then tomorrow, we're still not sure how far north the rain associated with this front is going to get. But this is what the computer thinks as it stands. So I think the further north and northwest you are, the more likely you are to see perhaps some brightness and sunshine coming through and a few showers. But elsewhere, a lot more in the way of cloud with some showers and perhaps longer spells of rain. But at the moment, the risk of sleet and snow is very low. But whatever the weather decides to do, it is going to be bitterly cold. We see the return of that Arctic air from the north, temperatures of only about six to nine Celsius and feeling colder still in those north to north easterly winds gusting 25 to 35 miles per hour. So it's a very similar set up on Sunday, that sea of blue and these northerly winds. So on Sunday, more in the way of sunshine expected for all of us, but also some showers and they could be of rain, sleet or snow. They'll be fairly well scattered, perhaps not for everybody, and again temperatures below average for the time of year and those winds, they will be lighter on Sunday compared to Saturday, but they still will make it feel even colder. But I think as we head into next week, we'll eventually see a change in the wind direction. As they become more southerly, we'll also start to see those top temperatures coming back closer to average. Monday, the chance of seeing a bit of showery rain, but I think on the whole, it is looking fine and dry, courtesy of an area of high pressure. And with light winds and those higher temperatures, it should feel fairly pleasant and a real contrast with the kind of values we're going to see over the weekend. And as for your overnight lows, well, we've still got some very cold and frosty ones on the way. In fact, on Sunday night, some spots could drop as low as minus five. But as we head towards the end of next week, I think those temperatures overnight returning closer to average. Now back to Stuart at Sandringham.